so you made Nefeli drink the potion. Well done. You are a touch more useful than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorcerous arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Selavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. I may have expected too much of her to begin with. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the Academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. <laughs> Begging for another lesson so soon? Ugh, there remains much to be done. Make it quick. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Well, well. Celebus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. What's this sorcery, my apprentice? Ah, then you have seen Master Azure. Master Azure was a founding Glintstone sorcerer, and my first teacher. A stern judge of men. But he must have seen something in you. You make us both proud. We can speak more later, my apprentice. If you recall, I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. It was for attempting to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. The toothless pedantry peddled by the Carian royal family can rot for all I care. I want Glinstone sorceries that open our minds, unbound by terrestrial taboos, no matter what we give in return. My apprentice, I presume nothing. Teacher and student are not bound to tread the same path. But hear me out, my apprentice. I need your help to restore the primeval current of Glinstone sorcery. Perhaps this is a journey we could take together. Splendid. I thank you. This pleases me. It's been far too long since I found a fellow kindred spirit. You must have a fabulous teacher. I need your help, my apprentice. Master Lusat is another founding Glimstone sorcerer. And like Master Azure, he was banished from the Academy. Now he languishes in prison somewhere. My apprentice, can you find Master Lusat? 
With this glimstone key, you should be able to cross the boundary that encloses him. I need him to restore the primeval current of glimstone sorcery. He's nigh a child of the stars. Such is his body now.
Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? The glory of the clash is shared. By Radan. And you. And ha! <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra. Barani's fate will be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our souls once more for Mistress Rani. Let's meet where the fallen star bit the earth, and we'll go into battle again, side by side. My only purpose is to fight for Rani's fate, sword and fang. The curtains rising, and the final act. Let's meet where the fallen star bit the earth, and we'll go into battle again. My only purpose is the curtains rising. Hello there. Um, it was a battle marvelously fought. You are well and truly a champion, friend. I, on the other hand, am nothing but a crock. One hit was all it took to crack me, and for my inside to come spilling out. After that, I, I hid like a coward. And as such, I can hardly stand to face one such as you. But don't you think I've given up just yet? As luck would have it, there's a veritable mountain of warriors' bodies right here. If I can just squeeze this bunch down inside me, I'll be a mighty warrior again in no time. And you know, the bodies found here are exceedingly fine. Who could expect any less from the very warriors who fought in the Shattering? The greatest of all wars. Just you wait and see, friend. I'll grow even stronger. Just you wait when next we meet. <laughs> the bodies found who could expect it. Just you wait. <laughs>
at last. The war festival has ended. Brave champion, you have our gratitude. The celebration was spectacular. General Radan is surely pleased. Festering with rot and crippled by madness, all he wanted was an honorable death. Finally, I'm no longer bound to this fortress. I have a task in mind. Old business, you could say. You wouldn't understand. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. It's time I went on my way. May we meet again, if the fates deign it. Brave champion. What is it? In this ash, I can smell the ancient storm. It reminds me of my first talk. In this ash, it reminds me of my... Well, I took it no matter, it's all day out, you're out.
What is it now? <laughs>